Friends, welcome back to Brick by Brick. I'm your host, Adam Ward, and we have an awesome show for you today. We've got a build that is going... It's a paper airplane. Dear Adam Ward of Brick by Brick, there's an extreme brick shortage in Cleveland, and you're needed immediately at the Cleveland Science Center. Friends, I gotta go. Yeah, walking Los Angeles to Cleveland, surprisingly easy. Wonder of science. All right, friends, so now we are on our way to the shop. This is like the behind the scenes tour here at the Great Lakes Science Center. You know, normally you would need one of these, but don't worry, you're with me. You're totally invited in. This is my home for the next week. Uh, this is where all of the exhibits here at the Great Lakes Science Center get created. Not just the Lego stuff, but all sorts of stuff. We've got Lego over there, we've got my workstation. Both of those suitcases were filled with Lego. More Lego here. Got every single tool in the world you could possibly want. This is where the magic happens. And whenever you're working on a project, you know, it's important to get the support you need, whether it's time or materials or people. And here at the Great Lakes Science Center, they have an amazing staff. They can build anything. They are totally helping me out so I can focus on the Lego. I've got a lot of building to do, my friends, so I can't just show you every single thing here. This museum is enormous. It's so super cool. Next time you're in Cleveland, check it out. I gotta get building. So I will see you soon. This desk is already a mess. <laughs> One of the coolest parts about being involved in the Build It exhibit is all of the other amazing Lego builds and sculptures and pieces of art that are here. This thing is bananas. The original Lego castle had like 800 and something pieces. So this artist decided to create the same thing but 12 times the size. Think a million bricks altogether. It's one of the largest Lego sculptures in the world. This is made of Lego. You can see this alone is like, you know, 250 pieces or something just to build a one by two. This spaceship looks like it actually might fly. It's from Serenity or Firefly or those might be the same thing. I don't know. Some of my favorite stuff is over here. We've got Springfield with all the details from the world of the Simpsons. Cleveland skyline, space stuff, space, 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 space. This thing is incredible. It has a working robotic arm and smoke comes out and it lights up. It has everything but actually go to space. This is one of my favorite pieces in the entire exhibit. It is called The Monkey King by Tyler Hallowell and it's based on a piece of Chinese mythology. He just looks so super cool. Such cool usage of pieces all throughout. If you take a closer look, there's boat tiles to make the armor. There are these cool satellite dishes for the, uh, the knee guards, and it's just a beautiful build. I can talk about it for a long time, but I gotta go teach a class. I get to go teach a class. We're gonna do a class on moving Lego parts right now. Hi there. We'll call this my table. <laughs> One, two, three. Lego. Our friend right here is super ready. <laughs> This part of the exhibit is called Move It. So it's all about Lego that moves, that you can interact with, that you can play with, so that when you're done with the build, you're not done with the fun. You can keep on going. Here is our snake monster, which I teach how to make in one of our episodes. And this is just a bunch of ball and socket joints. And then another thing I like a lot is this. This is a, a, a transforming robot that I designed. So right now you see in robot mode, but if we flip the head around, we fold the arms in, flip the legs around, a robot turns into a jet. So, so 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick it off with our little Lego lid. There's light gray pieces and dark gray pieces. And I want everybody to take out two of each. Be sure it has a friend. And I've got more up here. So if you really I'm Jamie Kravitz and I'm the exhibit project manager of Build It, the Lego brick exhibition here in Cleveland, Ohio at Great Lakes Science Center. We learn so much more when we're interacting with things, when we're moving, when we're touching, when we're making mistakes. We're focusing on Adam Ward's creations of showing that you can create movement in your Lego builds. Now, I never knew that you could do that. This is not a do not touch exhibition, right? We want you to get involved and build and leave your mark here in our exhibition. We want you to be inspired and go home. I've heard so many stories of kids who've come with their families. The first thing they did when they went home is started making stop motion films with Lego and started posting on YouTube. And that means a lot when people get so excited about what they see that they then realize, I can do this. So to be able to say that I remember this place from my childhood and now I'm here and creating exhibits, it's just mind blowing. It's, it's, it's awesome. Does it look like anything yet? Or the part of something? A part of a creature? The bricks that you grabbed, I didn't even have you grab specific bricks. Okay, cool. Those are some ball saga joints. Um, on Brick by Brick, I also teach you how to make this snake, which uses ball and socket joints. Um, to make Friends, it's day three of the installation. We've made some great progress, but we've got a ton of building left to do. But that's what I live for. I love build, build days. We've got three days until the exhibit opens. So people from all over Cleveland and Ohio are gonna be coming to interact with my exhibits. So I gotta get them ready. Well, I'm not stressing out. I'm staying hydrated. I'm eating plenty of cookies. I'm getting good rest. Now it is time to get my build on. Uh, the next simple machine that I built doesn't even really look that simple. It is this. It is an Archimedes screw, an ancient design that I decided to give a very futuristic spin. It's a little bit like a spaceship. And what you would do is you would have water or material or something down here at the bottom and you would spin it. And just by the arm rotating, it moves whatever you're moving up a steep slope. So if you needed to get water up a hill or move a bunch of like gravel or sand, that's all you would have to do. And these awesome Technic arms are one of the only flexible Lego pieces out there. They're really, really great. You can bend them in all sorts of ways. They allow us to get this really beautiful curve, almost a perfect circle that creates our screw that goes all the way up our central arm. They snap in perfectly to these little Technic pins and connectors. There's only a Technic axle on the bottom and the top connecting it. So I had to make the middle super duper strong so it didn't sag. Because if you have an axle, it's very important that the entire thing is totally straight. Sweet. Three, two. We're going to the super awesome IMAX auditorium. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my journey to becoming a Lego artist and the journey that I continue to be on as one. Uh, turning this passion into a career and show a little bit of my work and hopefully people will have some questions. We're gonna show the uh, super quick how to be a Lego gangster in 17 easy steps. This auditorium is amazing. Uh, without further ado, please join me in welcoming Adam Ward. So I started thinking about Lego not just as a toy, but really as a medium. And a medium is anything you can use to make art, anything you can use to tell a story. So I'm gonna show you a little bit and talk to you a little bit about my path, about what I do, about why I do those things. And then I would love to entertain any questions, any ideas, any exclamations, any build ideas. Hi everybody. 
sticker sticker wanters? What is your favorite Lego brick? Oh, it's a wonderful question. Um, I love the snot brick. Um, you know, with with more than just one stud. There's so many wonderful artists that you can go out and really get inspired by and then think about like, oh, how can I do that in Lego? Or that's a really cool way to do it. Is there another way to do it? Sometimes people say like, oh, you have done it. You are a Lego, like, but I'm still in process. Like I still want to get better. I still want to continue to, to learn. I'm Adam. Hey, it's so good to meet you, man. Do you know what the yeah. most famous brick is? Oh, that's a good question. You're so welcome. Thanks for your wonderful curiosity. Bye bye, nice to meet you. Just got to give two presentations to wonderful Lego fans and science fans here in Cleveland, uh, and then answered a ton of really awesome questions. Really great young Lego builders. Uh, a couple people showed me models that they had built from brick by brick. It's always wonderful to have people who are interested in, in what I do, in what the Lego community is doing. Uh, and it's great to see young people interested in building, making their own things, and not just having a screen in front of their face. We watch a lot of Brick by Brick episodes. That's about the only thing we do on YouTube. I like the Puzzle Box episodes. Favorite episodes. Building way beyond their age. The installations are up. The presentations were a huge success. The classes were so much fun. I can't believe it's been an entire week. It's totally flown by. You know, when I take a job, I don't know how much fun it's gonna be or who I'm gonna be working with or if I'm even gonna be able to pull it off. But the people at the Great Lakes Science Center were such a treat to work with, so creative, such big fans of science and Lego and all the things that I love so much. I hope you had fun getting a sneak peek behind the scenes. And thank you so much for watching. As always, to see even more Brick by Brick, click on the box right here. And to subscribe to Soul Pancake, click on the subscribe button that's probably near my knee. Right there. Give my own knee a click. Subscribe. It's a great day in Cleveland. Birds are chirping. Water's wet. <laughs>